Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use change NT password to blank out or erase the password on a Windows machine. Um, here's the pa um, the website for that. It's just chntpw.com. You'll notice if you go to the downloads page, there's uh, downloadable images for both a CD and a USB. The CD, you can just download, unzip it, it's an ISO, and just burn that ISO to disk as you would any image. The USB is a little bit more involved, not terrible, though you have to actually run some commands from the command line to make the um, USB stick bootable, but it's easily doable. So, um, CHNTPW has been around since, well, obviously the NT days, and can ch change or delete local account passwords on um, pretty much any version of Windows out there as old as you're going to get nowadays and all the way up to the current which as I'm showing you today is Windows 10. So I've already downloaded these and uh, one of them here is the CD image chntpwcd.iso. Today I'm going to use a virtual machine just because it's easier for me to record but you can also do this on a standalone machine the same you just need physical media. So first off, I'm going to show you that yes, there truly is a password on here. Uh, I'm not just pulling your leg. I tried to type in something that says the password is incorrect. So there is a password. Before I start the machine, I need to insert the CD. So I'm going to go up here and open the CD and connect to an ISO image on the local disk. So I'm going to connect to that chntpw that's on the desktop.iso. And so from here, I have a CD in there now, hence the green check mark. Um, this would be the same as if you were on a physical machine and you made a physical CD uh, and burnt that ISO to it, and then you went up there while the machine was still running and hit the little button for the CD and it went zzz, and then you put the CD down in there and then pressed it shut and it went zzz, and now we've put the CD in the drive. That's basically what I've done. I've just done it virtually. At this point, we have the CD in there, and we can go ahead and restart the machine. When you're restarting the machine, um, the one thing you have to do is make sure, sure that um, you either have set the CD drive to boot before the hard drive, or you need to know how to boot to a certain device. On a lot of machines, it's you press F12 as it's starting up and allow you to select a certain device. Um, but um, it just it's dependent on the machine. I specifically have set up this machine to boot from the CD first, and so that's why I went ahead and booted into the CD when I found it was bootable. For this image, as you can see, um, you could I could have pressed enter, but since I waited long enough, it automatically booted into the CD. Again, we're booted to the CD and not the hard drive here. That's key. So, the first thing it wants to know is it says where is the hard drive that has the Windows partition on it for the users you're wanting to delete the passwords for. And it actually found one. It said, oh, the possible Windows installation. I found one. I'll call it number one. It's on SDA2, and it looks like it's 24 gigs, and it has a Windows partition. And that's my uh, hard drive on there. You'll notice as we go through here, um, the options that are in the brackets are the default options. So uh, since the default option is already one, I could just press enter. If I wanted any other option, I would actually have to enter that option before pressing enter. But since one is the default and one is the hard drive I'm wanting to change the users on, I'll just go ahead and press enter. Now, it says, what do you want to do? Well, I want to do password reset uh, of the SAM database, which is the database that holds the password hashes in Windows. You'll notice that's number one. Again, the default is number one, so I'm going to hit enter. Now, what would I like to do? I would like to edit user data and passwords. Again, one, one is the default, so I'm going to hit enter. Here it says, okay, what user do you want to change? You notice there's a bunch of users here, the default users in Windows, administrator, default account guest. Uh, if you go back to the beginning of this video, you'll notice that the user, my default user that I have is user one. And so that is the user I'd like to clear the password out because I just showed you there was a password there. You'll notice that d user is 3E9, which is already selected 3E9, so it's the default. If you want to enter a different user, one thing I will um, caution you on is if you if I say wanted to enter administrator, when you enter it yourself, you do have to put the zero in front of it, even though it doesn't show it here. You do have to. I would have to put 01F4. 
but since this is the default I'm going to just go ahead and select that. Now here's where the rubber starts to meet the road. What would I like to do? I would like to clear or blank the user password. You notice the default is quit because this change NT password is saying well I want to cover my butt. I don't want to automatically clear everybody's passwords and then they get mad at me. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go ahead and say I actually want to do option one because that's the clear or blank user password and then I'll press enter. Now what has happened here? What's happened is that the CD has said, okay, I've told the CD I want to clear the password, but it hasn't actually written it to that hard drive that's in your machine yet or on your virtual machine. So even though it looks like something's, everything is done here, it's not. We still have to save it. So first off, I'll need to quit out. I've already cleared it, but I now need to quit. So Q is the default. Again, the default is Q, so I'm going to go ahead and just hit enter. And then I'm going to hit Q again, you notice quit, you will be asked if there is something to save, hence it hasn't been saved to the hard drive yet. So I'm going to go ahead and enter Q again, because that's what I want to do, not one, that's the, and hit enter. And see so now it says, you are about to write files back. Do you want to do that? It's saying, do you actually want to clear this password? This is your last chance to get out of here. So the default is no, but I want to say yes, I do want to save that. And so then we'll say edit complete. At this point you know it's done and you know that you've actually written these changes back to the hard drive. So what do I need to do here? Well first off, so I don't boot to it again, I'm going to remove my CD. I'm going to go up here and just say disconnect. If you're on a real machine again, you could hit the button, zzz, pull out the CD, close it back up again, zzz, and you're ready to go. Here you can just go ahead and restart the machine, whether it's a hard restart, whatever. Remember, you're booted to the CD, so it's no big deal. I'm going to go ahead and just hit Control-Alt-Delete. So Control-Alt-Delete restarts. It didn't boot to the CD because I took it out. It goes into Windows and boots up into Windows 10. You notice User 1 and it's trying to actually go into the welcome menu. Why is this? Well because I deleted the password and since the password is blank it just will automatically log in for me and now I've removed the password and I'm automatically into Windows 10. This will work for any size of password, any complexity whatsoever and so this um, kind of affirms the old adage of physical uh, security is not there and let, uh, as soon as somebody gets access to a machine it's just a matter of time. So today I've showed you how to use change NT password to clear out the password of a local account on Windows 10.